it's the largest ocean in the world. Um, and it actually has been said to cover about a third of the Earth's surface. It's around 15 times the size of the USA. Um, so it's a massive, massive expanse of water with obviously a huge number of species in. Now we've tried to represent that here, however, obviously with limited space, we cannot do it to quite the size of the Pacific Ocean. But what we have got is our four species of large shark. Um, now they're definitely one of the favourites at the aquarium, one of the most popular attractions. Uh, and for very good reason, they are amazing animals. Now I'll tell you a little bit about each of the species. The first one to tell you about is our sand tiger shark. Uh, we have three sand tiger sharks, two male and one female. And this lovely lady here, just on the far left hand side, is Georgina. She is our female sand tiger, and she's actually our biggest shark in the whole, our biggest fish in the whole aquarium. Um, she's just over three meters long, and she is the boss of the tank. She likes to survey the tank and make sure that everyone is keeping themselves in check, make sure that no one is misbehaving. So she's definitely the big boss. Um, and we do also have our two males, um, one of whom is just over at the back wall. Oh, I can't see the other one at all at the moment. But they're very, very distinguishable because they've got these two small dorsal fins on their back. They're a dark brown, grey in colour. And they've got this constant smile on their faces. We like to call it a smile because although it looks quite ferocious, they're actually a very docile species. Um, so that's the easiest way to tell the difference, is the sharks that always have their teeth on display are the sand tigers. Now they're quite a large species, they can grow to weigh about 250 pounds and be just over 3 metres long, around 3.5 metres. Um, Georgina hasn't quite reached 3.5 metres yet, but she is over 3 metres, so she's pretty, pretty big. Uh, now they are a species of shark that have to keep swimming to breathe. The water goes in and through their mouth and out over their gills. So they have to be swimming all the time. It means they don't sleep as we know it. They have a rest period where they can serve very, very large amounts of energy, um, but they won't sleep in the same way we know. Now the way that they can conserve energy, one way they do it, is the sand tigers will actually go up to the surface and take a massive gulp of air, and that will actually help create a bit of a neutral buoyancy for them within the water. So this means they can keep swimming very, very slowly and they will not be wasting too much energy. Sorry, I'll wait for this to finish. And also there's no flash photography anywhere in the aquarium. There's no flash photography in the aquarium, so if you have a flash on your camera, please would you be kind enough to turn it off when using your camera. And also no touching of the rays in the rain again. Thank you. Okay, sorry about that. Um, right, so yeah, they will very easily conserve energy this way by creating this buoyancy. Now as well as this, they do have a bit of a gruesome way of reproducing. The females have two uteruses, or uteri, and she'll hold the eggs in her uteri, and the first pup to hatch from each uterus will actually eat the rest of the eggs and developing pups. So you'll only ever get two babies maximum from a sand tiger. Okay, so now to move on to our second species of swimming shark. This is a brown shark. You can see one just going towards the back now. Uh, just going around behind the Easter Island head. They're very distinguishable because they've got these very tall dorsal fins and they're much more of a light grey in colour. And these ones are actually related to the great white shark. Um, there we go, one just coming through the middle here now with this one very tall dorsal fin on, on her back. Uh, they are both females, the brown shark that we have. And uh, the way to tell the difference between the male and the female sharks uh, if you look, it's very, very distinguishable. We'll have a look on our sand tigers. Uh, they, underneath the back of their bodies, just before their tail fin, they have these two finger-like projections. These are actually uh, specialised fins, and they're called claspers, and they are absent on the females. Um, it's the same with rays. Rays and sharks are very closely related, and that's the way to tell the difference between a male and a female in all species of ray and shark. Um, now the brown shark, as I've said, they've got this lovely tall dorsal fin, they're actually quite heavily hunted for. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about the hunting later on. Uh, but they are the most abundant species of large shark in the Western Atlantic. Um, and they have very interesting migrating patterns, because the males will migrate in groups, and the females will actually wait around and then migrate later on by themselves. 
Um, but now they're a bit smaller than the sand tigers. They can only weigh up to about 115 pounds and be 2.5 meters long. Uh, so they are quite a small species compared to the sand tiger.